Good morning and welcome to Championship Sunday at the Dis Side of Heaven. It's the final round of the 2024 Played Against Sports Jonesboro Open presented by Westside Dis. And the wind looks like it'll be constant throughout the entire day. Maybe not the same direction, but it's going to be in that 15 to 20 mile per hour range all day. And Silva, no problem. The park job with the approach. She's going to have a tap in birdie on hole one. And Evelina converts. What a birdie putt by Evelina on the first hole. This looks even better. Sharp hyzer angle on this, so it's gonna spike down and not get the skip that would be helpful to get her closer to the basket. Sayananda throwing her third shot on hole number four. And that'll finish in the bullseye. She'll go on to tap in for birdie. Okay, Lorenzen. Also with a solid approach. I have no doubts about laying up. And uh, Emily, beautiful putt. Kristen on the tee of five. Oh, looking to get the front hill skip. And it goes all the way up to the pin. Kristen's best drive of the weekend on five. Going to roll the Zuka replay, take another look. And really just a textbook drive of how to throw this hole. Line A off the tee of eight. Well, there'll be no laying up from there with Silva Saarinen on the tee of eight. Lorenzen has a birdie look up ahead on eight's green. A bullet straight into the chains and that will likely be updated for our 2025 version on that particular hole. Kristen clears the OB with ease. And as these players are clearing that out of bounds area, they're getting a lift underneath their disc and it, the wind must be crossing right around that area. Or you could stay with us, listen to Terry's dad jokes continuing out throughout the round. Kristen up first with a nice easy sidearm approach. Come on. Almost throwing it in, but even better yet, just dropping next to the basket. I mean, it was a great line, but you always hear it when players are going for an ace. It's not necessarily the best line because you know that it had enough power to go so far past the basket. Go into a playoff along with Haley King where Cat Merch took it down. Here's Katrina Allen, TF15. This is tracking right to the pin. Not far off from ringing it up. It kicks to the right and she's in bounds. The nice shot here from Evelina, nice skip. For a three stroke swing over Holland Hanley. She's got it. Evelina birdies on nine. She'll move to 10 under from 2023 when she tapped in for the victory. Salonen, T of 10. We 
we are on the green of 11. And another one from Lorenzen, who's put together now three birdies in the last four holes. And this is Evelina's second throw. Sarnin has a birdie look on 12. Wow. Out. Big putt. Maria Oliva also on a little bit of a tear of her own. She's birdied four out of the last five. Climbing her way up nine positions. And from there, she would go on to make the birdie. So Maria Oliva, five of the last six. Lorenzen hunting the basket. Does it get all the way there? Comes up just short. Line also on the tee of 15. I love this angle. This is going to skip right to the pin. Parked. No putting required. No layup required either. <laughs> it was actually, the, that was her scorecard from yesterday. She's improving upon that. Today's scorecard will show her at seven under for today's round as we watch Emily convert from circle two. Hanley, a birdie of her own. She's got two of the last four. Wow, and Evelina almost hits the pole koozie. Only about 30 feet wide. We saw her get lucky through the pine trees yesterday. She's going right up the gut, hits short of the pin, gets that extra skip. A beautiful shot from Kristen. No luck or tree kick uh, required whatsoever today. Kristen just peers the gap. Solid pot for Holland Hanley. Trying to maintain a spot on the podium. Evelina will need to make this putt to remain one in front of Holland. And the crosswind is not gonna help. Doesn't matter. She got it right online this time. And I'm thinking that right to left wind is going to push her hyzer putt even farther to the left, but she carried it out to the right. And for her first birdie in seven holes, Kristen in. She moves to 21 under and will have now a nine stroke lead. The practice that she does do really worth it. So uh, I'll check in, but I, I'll, I'll let you know. She might sneak in around, who knows? And Holland gets on the green. Does it stop? It does, it checks up. Remember, it's not the water's edge. There's a white painted line. And so she ends up coming and staying in bounds. Avelina. Oh, Terry. Dicks it, no putting required. Holland buries it. Kristen goes with the forehand and that's gonna get all the way to the pin. Val, she did that yesterday. She took a moment. Normally you watch her step up she usually just pauses for a moment or two, focuses in. Today, she takes all the time required, is in for the birdie. Around 300 to the pin for Hanley. And she's well inside the circle, so she'll have a birdie luck.
circle two. And she's definitely going after it. <laughs> and there is your dagger. Kristen with the birdie on the 17th. Back-to-back -back birdies on both 16 and 17. She moves to 22 under. Kristen trying to close it out here in Jonesboro. Solid in. Trying to hold on to second, and it slides through. And the putter slides right through. Can Holland take advantage? She does. So Hanley and Solonen will be tied going into the final hole. Saw the wind push it down initially and then lift it back up and it looks like she's gotten over the OB. Kristen, green flag, she'll have a look for birdie. So now this is where it all finishes. Who can land safe? Who's gonna get the birdie? Battle of Evelina and Holland comes down to this final hole. Gotta watch out for those trees on the right. Plenty safe. And Evelina now sees that and has an opportunity to get it much closer. They're tied up going to the final hole. Evelina put some turn on that and it ends up short, does not come back in bounds. She's going to go to the drop zone. It looks like less than a meter short for Evelina. This DGPT sign is right in the way for Holland, forcing her to throw up and over. She steps up and converts. Covering up the mistake of the poor approach, Hanley will finish in second. Evelina will tap in. She's gonna finish on the podium. She started the day in third. That's where she'll finish. And for the second time, Kristen Tatar will be your Played Against Sports Jonesboro Open champion. Kristen, congratulations. You went wire to wire out here at this side of heaven. You took down your second victory of the season. How does it feel? It feels good. Uh, I love this course. I've always loved it. And I, I do love the changes that have been made here. And last year, I felt like I wasn't playing up to my potential. So coming back here now and actually winning, it means a lot to me. If it's not windy, then I feel like I have a lot more options. So I've been feeling quite comfortable playing in the wind this season and and I didn't mind the wind uh, on the putting green it was difficult because it was so gusty and inconsistent but overall I think it was uh, it, it, it was fun to play in the wind. How are you feeling at this point in the season? Yeah I've been homesick uh, throughout the trip actually <laughs> um, especially when I'm like struggling with some like stuff mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah uh, I just have to remind myself that currently I'm, I'm here and uh, I have to take advantage of what I can do here because I cannot be in two places uh, at once. So yeah, I, I'm trying to handle it, but it's, it's always somewhere. Well, you handled it fantastic this week. Congratulations, Kristen. We'll see you at the next win. Thank you. disappointed it's over well I've got two options for you either you click subscribe and you watch more action right here on the channel or you go out and play around a disc golf yourself either way I'll see you in the fairway <laughs>